I wanted to show you the, the instrument that I designed to the music that I create. My music is called Beat Jazz, and this is my Beat Jazz controller. It's a three-way wireless network uh, built on open source software, running an open source operating system, and I use it to create a style that's completely improvised uh, using nothing but synthesizers and these. I needed a controller that allowed me to improvise in multiple dimensions, so I created a controller that's based on saxophone fingerings, but has accelerometers that uh, allow me to control multiple different effects and uh, parameters at once using different key commands. So I'm able to create everything live and have it with the you know sound like a like a DJ set. So those are force sensing resistors, so they measure how hard I press, so I use them as keys. Alright, and what's on the back side? The joystick here is to control part looper, part effects, here is for octaves, and the top one is multi-function. Uh, it uh, controls my volume, it controls uh, looper position, those types of things. Each unit has its own radio that communicates with its own radio at my computer, so I don't have any bottlenecks in data or uh, speed. How did you control this thing? I saw you, you, you used your iPhone. I created this as a feedback so that I could see what's going on with my system. It's, uh, uh, it's uh, based on sax fingers, but it also uh, I use pressure sensitive keys that allow me to uh, control multiple parameters depending on how hard I press the key. So I have them set to change patches, uh, change effects, things like that. And uh, I have joysticks that take most of the rest of the controls, things like uh, uh, sustain and um, pack selection and filters and octaves and all those things. Wow. Okay, what's your name? Alex Oshanti.